Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia, let's talk books. And today I have a haul. And it's a <laughs> rather incomplete haul because of all the shipping delays. Um, I haven't gotten a couple more books in. Uh, but I decided just to just go ahead and film because I really want to share some of these books with you all. So I'm going to start with some of these hardcovers that I bought. Uh, the first one is The Book of Lost Saints by Daniel Jose Orler. He is such a good writer and I really enjoyed all, everything I've read by uh, Daniel Jose Olded. And this one is set in Cuba during the Cuban Revolution. I've heard really good things about it and so I'm adding, well, I purchased it, adding it to my TBR and see how it goes. The next book that I purchased is Incendiary by Soraya Cordova. So this is a YA fantasy with a lot of Latinx flavor. And I believe it involves, whew, what is it about? Rebel Spies, uh, Commander Unit. I don't know. It sounded really good. <laughs> and um, I'm really looking forward to starting this because it's going to be a series. Next up is A Whole Bunch of Romance. Uh, the first book that I purchased is The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. Mia Sosa, I really like the first book that, uh, that I read by her and I think she's an incredible writer so I need to read more from her. Um, and this is her latest book, it looks good. Um, obviously it involves weddings. <laughs> Next up is Alicia Rye's Girl Gone Viral which is based on the premise of like, you know, that's stories where they take off online. Somebody is over listening to somebody else's interactions, put, starts live tweeting it, and all of a sudden the, the people that are being eavesdropped on just have their whole lives upended. Um, so that's the premise to this story, um, and it looks really cute. So, and by the way, I was really into teal covers. It turns out it is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> next book that I bought is Island Affair by Priscilla Oliveira. So this is set in Key West um, with a lot of Latinx flavor. Again, the, you're going to sense a theme in a lot of the books I bought. Uh, but uh, this also looked really fun um, and I can't wait to read it. Next book, let's see. Oh, this is An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon. So I heard several people talking about it, including Tatiana over at... Um, musical tati and it, it looks really good um so look so it's set in a spaceship and um yeah it just looks so good <laughs> next is witch mark by cl polk so again it's one of those books that i've had on my tbr for a long time so i finally went ahead and bought it honestly i've been buying quite a few books because I wanted to support my local um, bookstores and um, that was my excuse really. Um, so um, looks like this is set in Edwardian England and um, it's a series so we'll see how I do with that. It, did, it does look like it was the winner of the World Fantasy Awards so that's always nice. The next two books that I got um, are by, by Vanessa Riley. She writes historical romances uh, set in like Regency England with a black main character. So she always has at least one black main character. Um, and I really want to finish this series. This is the uh, Advertisements for Love series because um, a lot of people think that this is historically inaccurate to have like black people in Regency England and it's really not true and I'm like this is a hill I'm willing to die on as a historian um, and um, I've enjoyed uh, Vanessa Riley's writing and um, so these last two will help me finish this particular series and then I'm going to do a review of the books of hers that I've read and of this series in particular. A few more books here so let's see the next one is Signs Preceding the End of the World by Yudi Herrera. This is the translation of the book um, and I forgot to get it in Spanish actually but it's a short book. It was recommended online by Silvia Moreno Garcia and um, it looks really really good. It's set in Mexico and um, yeah fantasy sci-fi it looks like so yeah. <laughs> Uh, next up is Coyote Songs by Gabino Iglesias. This is a horror book. 
um, but, like telling immigrant stories in the horror setting um, and um, it sounds kind of heavy um, so I'm not going to get to this one right away but I do plan on getting to this eventually. Next up is a middle grade book. Uh, it's um, A Dash of Trouble, the Love Sugar Magic series by Ana Mediano. I've heard really good things about this. I'm really into middle grade. Um, and this is about Latinx young witches. And it sounds so cute and adorable. And I just am so looking forward to it. This, this I will probably pick up really soon. These are really fast, fun, cute uh, reads. And middle grade is like great for um, when you are stressed, anxious, anything like that, and you just want something fun and light. So I can't wait to pick that one up. The last two here, um, let's see, I have the Reykjavik. So the premise of this is what if the woman is the rake, right? In a lot of romance novels, a lot of historical romance novels, the rake's the guy, like that, because that's the stereotype. Uh, but so this kind of flips that. Um, I've heard some mixed things about this book, uh, but I wanted to try it out for myself, so here we are. <laughs> and then I also have A Cowboy to Remember by Rebecca Weatherspoon. I really have loved everything I've read by Weatherspoon. Um, so this is one of her most recent releases, and um, yeah, can't wait to do it. Cowboys. Who does not love a good cowboy story? Okay, I don't like all cowboy stories, but this one sounds really good. Um, so now I want to share a few of the nonfiction books that I have purchased. Um, these are mostly as I'm planning um, my classes for the fall semester, and I wanted to kind of revamp some of my books that I have on like family planning, fertility, abortion, contraception. So the first one is called Contested Bodies, Pregnancy, Child Rearing, and Slavery in Jamaica by Sasha Turner. The titles of nonfiction books tend to be pretty self-explanatory, so I'll leave it at that. Um, the next one is Medical Bondage, Race, Gender, and the Origins of American Gynecology by Deidre Cooper Owens. This, I've heard such good things. It's like a must. Um, I don't, my specialty is not American history, but this sounds really good or something that I might want to add to my class. Something that I've been dying to get my hands on is Venus Noir, Black Women and Colonial Fantasies in 19th Century France by Robin Mitchell. She's a wonderful, wonderful scholar that looks at race and French history. And um, she's like a pleasure to interact with online. So I, I really enjoyed following her and I've heard really, really good things uh, about this book as well. Next up is Reproduction on the Reservation, Pregnancy, Childbirth, and Colonialism in the Long 19th Century by Brianna Theobald. So um, for a couple years ago, I was going to teach a class that dealt more with like the longer history of reproduction and reproductive rights. Um, and I really wanted to get in some readings dealing with uh, Native Americans. Um, and uh, this was one of the ones that got in my radar, um, comes highly recommended as well, and that um, I will get to this summer. Uh, next up is A Miscarriage of Justice, Women's Reproductive Lives in the Law in Early 20th Century Brazil by Cassie Roth. Um, again, <laughs> looks really good and just will help round out my knowledge of um, reproductive right history beyond France. I have, I think, a pretty solid um, background, not just in European history, but in American history, but I, I wanted to to further further that knowledge, especially when looking at other uh, communities of color. So uh, hence the, a lot of books here on um, Native Americans and um, race dealing with um, Caribbean, Europe, etc, etc. So um, anyways, uh, these uh, books are all kind of uh, look really fun for me. I'm, I'm really excited to, to get to, to them. If you have read any of them, if you have purchased it and like to share your thoughts with me, I would love to hear all of your thoughts on them. Um, and if I need to move anything up on my TBR, please let me know. But I think it's hard to move books up on this TBR because so many of these sound so, so good. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!